Hey everybody, MaxMonty1516 here, back again with yet another custom spotlight. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've said that. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember the last time I made one of these. But yeah, um, here, uh, right now, I have my brand new custom of Kana. So let's go ahead and get into it. I know a lot of people are gonna question why did I make this, considering Kana is a reboot character. For those who don't know or don't keep up with the show nowadays, Kana is one of the newest characters introduced in the Thomas and Friends reboot series titled All Engines Go. I'm gonna be honest, I've barely seen any of it, maybe like four episodes at the most. I don't really care about it to be honest, however, um, I actually really liked Kana's character design. And I thought to myself, hey, why don't I try and translate that into a CGI character? So, um, this is the end product of that. Now, of course, to actually make this happen, what I did was I took a, a motorized Kenji. I bought a used one on eBay for really cheap, actually. So I took Kenji. Then the first thing I did was get a, a new face for it, and that came from a Take and Play Ashima right there. I think it fits pretty well. And then after that, all I did was repaint Kenji into the according colors, and now we have Kana. So I did post a picture of her on Twitter right after I finished her, and needless to say, you guys really liked it, which I was actually kind of surprised. I wasn't really sure what the reaction would be to this. But yeah, uh, it was overwhelmingly positive. This is actually like one of the biggest my customs has ever gotten. So again, thank you all for that. If you're not following me on Twitter already, just, just go ahead, leaving it out there. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick closer look at Kana here. So of course, like I said, the Take and Play Shima face, I painted her in her same, in the same livery mostly from the tv series i did or er, from all engines go sorry I, I guess that's the tv series now i don't even know anyway um of course i did paint her in the proper livery and another cosmetic change i added was at first i was like okay i'm gonna add push along wheels in here because kana does have an 080 configuration at least i think that's what it is i could be wrong though or it might be just an 044 maybe i don't know anyway um as you can see there, there are minis wheels that are just actually glued onto the sides here. And these came from a minis Steven. And at first, like I said, I was gonna use push along and then that proved to be too big, but I wanted to do an accurate wheel configuration. So I thought that was the next best option. So of course they don't move, but they, they do look pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I think they add just, this, the, just the right amount there to make it look a bit more realistic. I tried. So anyway, uh, as you can see here, looking on the back, I did paint her door uh, white, and then there's a yellow frame around it. Same on the other side here, all of the windows are individually painted in, as well as a white stripe going around the body itself, and then followed by a yellow bit up there. So yeah, uh, I think Hana looks pretty good. So now, uh, real quick, I'm going to do a comparison. So yeah, um, I did buy the All Engines Go Trackmaster Kana. Um, yeah, so this is like one of the one of the only reboot toys I've actually bought. So yeah, but I mean, I kind of the main reason I got this was I just wanted to see how it compared, and also just to have an official toy of Kana, just because you know why not. So yeah, um, there are there are a lot of differences here, um, especially the face size, and I guess just the size of the engine in general. Yeah, the All Engines Go Trackmasters are just way, way bigger. So yeah, that's another reason I won't be using this in a video or anything. But it was really cheap, you know. I mean, I decided just why not. But I think that's enough of this one. Let's let's go ahead and move back. So yeah, uh, that is Kana. And now very quickly, I know this is getting a bit longer than one than my normal custom spotlight videos. But yeah, um, I also made her coaches. And from, I think, one of the episodes I saw, I, I noticed Kana had, a, had like, uh, matching coaches. I thought that was cool. So, um, yeah, it was actually really hard to find pictures of these. I'm presuming they don't appear very often. But, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and look here. I'll just grab one of them. So, the only difference, really, from the All Engines Go series is that instead of all yellow wheels, I just went with a yellow rim on black wheels. I think it looks a bit nicer. It just kind of pops more, in my opinion. But yeah, um, again, there's the top, there's the side. It follows the exact color scheme that the ones from the show do. So yeah, I, I tried to do that like as accurate as possible. And again, the coaches weren't that hard to do. So it's just mainly like a couple of stripes here and there. 
and I did paint the doors as well and go ahead and look at the other one there so there's that and yeah and also just real quick uh, these did come from Kenji's coaches as well so there's another quick comparison as you can see but that is that's pretty much it that's all I have to say for Kana um there will be more there's there's more of a reason to this custom than what meets the eye and I do actually have plans to use her at some point the details I'm not going to disclose now but look out for another video on my channel one that I have not announced yet but you'll be seeing more of Kana in a very specific video coming soon so yeah that's all I had to say um this is again this has been a longer one but I hope you guys enjoyed it so uh, I'll, I'll see y'all later. Max Monty 1516 signing out.